what's up everyone history was made yesterday now this is a controversial um topic but i have to talk about it because history was made yesterday and it's one of the more crazier things you guys can see and stuff like that because uh they had we yesterday night there was a perfect game happening um a perfect game happened and everyone went crazy he went crazy uh people are talking about it uh some people don't like it um just like it just i don't get why people don't like it there was a no he had a no hitter i mean if you guys have seen anything about perfect games you guys have realized that there's at least one catch pre pa to secure the to secure the perfect game it's not like they strike everybody out a lot of people get a lot of them time they get hits but they don't uh a lot of time they get hits but the they make a good play uh i watched this the final uh out of a new of a no hitter they asked no hitter before last night um yeah one of the asked no hitters or someone like that. i don't remember when it was but uh they made a diving catch at the wall for the no hitter, which is one of the most impressive baseball plays. A diving catch at the wall, guys! Like a jumping, three sixty catch. I mean, that's what baseball is all about, guys. I mean, I have when uh stuff happens like that, because then it basically just shows that that people. Honestly, it basically shows that people are willing to, but the final out came on a ball that was hit to the third base shortstop area. Now, it is controversial, the no-hitter, because that guy was, I don't know, people were mad at him. So, the Yankees fan, the Yankees fan cried. Uh, I don't know, she cried on social media about the no-hitter with happy tears. And then people roasted her, saying that she shouldn't have been. It was just us. And then they were saying a bunch of stuff about the person that I don't know. Uh, but the person got a no hitter, which is one of the most impressive baseball things you can guys can do. It is very impressive. Uh, I mean, it just like a no hitters means you get no people on base. Walks, walks are okay. But you have to have very few of them. So, like, overall, a no-hitter is something that is, it only happens, like, once every 10 years. But there was, like, four the, uh, before the season. Like, in 2012, the the last year bef that had a no-hitter before this year. Guess what? That was the last year that had one. And it had, like, four or something. And uh, how many no how many net there's been 300 and no hitters thrown since 1876 but keep in mind 24 of which were perfect games two no hitters have been thrown on the same day twice there's very nine no hitters are thrown in 22 and then Yes, so perfect games. I don't know. If, there are twenty four perfect games, and there was one yesterday. What? There's a twenty. That's the twenty fourth perfect game in MLB history. Well, it should really be twenty fifth, but that made a horrible call at first. At one game, that he was he was safe. I think it's, everyone knows. I mean, he was out. Um pretty obvious everyone knows that but i'm calling him safe which led to a one hit and it was sad uh to see but yeah so uh there was has been 319 no hitters which mean there has been there's 319 no hitters which mean you've probably walked a couple of people 
but in perfect games, you have it. You didn't hit anyone. You just struck out everybody you faced, and you had to be in for the entire game, I believe. But it's just really impressive. And now, uh, so yeah, people are hating on Yankees fans that went crazy and were happy about it. Which, in my opinion, that's history, man. You should the, the Yankees fans. Um, should, you know, be happy about that. Um, I had a game this season where I had 10 strikeouts, and uh, everybody went absolutely crazy. Um, I went crazy. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, and, uh, I mean, there's a no-hitter, so everybody's going to go crazy. I mean, and then people are saying, oh, well, it doesn't matter because I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know why people are mad. I, I don't I just I don't even know what his name is. Um, his name is Domingo Gramero. I don't even that I have I didn't even hear, know know who he was before uh, his no hitter last night. So I mean, of course it was against the A's. If there's a no hitter, just see if it's against the A's. If there's a no hitter, it's probably the majority of the time against the A's because the A's. I mean, if there's a perfect game, it probably ends the A's because the A's are, without a doubt, one of the worst teams. If you look at their record, their record is not uh, on them more. Their record is horrible. So, their record, get this. So keep in mind the top team in the AL West is 49 and 31. So that's okay. They're, they're home, and this is the Rangers. Their home record is 26 and 14. Their away record is 23 and 17. So that's pretty good. But then if you look at the Oakland Athletics, the Oakland A's record is 21 and 61. 21 and 61. Guys, 21 and 61. Now, 21 and 61. I don't think the guys. So, they have, one of the, they have one of the worst records of all time. The ass team, a team did that was like in the early 1900s. 1800s. So, it, they're accomplishing some very <laughs> embarrassing feats. But if a team accomplishes an embarrassing feat, it's probably the Oakland A's because many teams aren't as bad as the Oakland A's. Um. So, their uh, home record is 10 and 30. Okay. Well, they, and then on the way, they have 11 and 31. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but then if you look at The New York, it was the fourth per, so the New York Yankees perfect game yesterday. It was the fourth perfect game in Yankees history after Don Yarsons in the 19th. It was also a second Yankees no hitter in the past three seasons. Only with 20, following fall, the 2021 performance by, against the Texas Rangers. So, yeah. Uh, but there, so that's it. A little bit about the no hitter, but the Yankees' record is still they are in the one of the better divisions with only one team being under under five hundred, and that team is barely under it at point four nine four percentage of winning at forty and forty one. The Red Sox are, and then the Blue Jays forty four and thirty seven, and then the Yankees. Which is keeping on. This is pretty surprising since the Yankees, forty-four and thirty-six. Now they are twenty-five and nineteen home at home, and they're nineteen and seventeen, so barely having a winning record and the road. But yep, that's me. That is EPA. Just subscribe if you want some more sports content. I'll do more sport, sports content if if uh if more people if you subscribe on this video uh. I'll do some more sports content if you don't. I'll settle for a like. So, 
yep subscribe like whatever you want to do but just make sure you do one of the two 